I've got the Apple Lisa 2 on the floor, and I'm about to open it up because I need to do a uh, vertical hold adjustment. It's kind of flying off the reel. First step is to take the back off. There we go. And that is the, I believe, the IO board for the Lisa. Here's a better view of the uh, three expansion slots. IO expansion and um, I've seen parallel cards and SCSI cards that work with that. As you can see the IO board is sitting in its own large slot. Push the two latches under the bottom of the, uh, the face plate and I'm about to pull that off. The mesh cover that uh, provides an anti-glare sort of effect. Uh, it's nice, it's well intact. Um, okay, I uh, found which of the pots is behold, and I've got power hooked up. Tried to power it on a minute ago, but the uh, got nothing. I think the keyboard and mouse have to be plugged in for it to actually work, so let's see. No. Had some power on issues, and so I pulled the power supply and uh, cleaned the edge connectors. Went pretty clean. And uh, blew some air through there, so let me see if this helps this out. I still can't get it to power on. This is not a problem I had this morning. Um, so I took out the power supply and cleaned it. I'm now taking out the uh, main card cage. You can see right there the uh, IO board in red, CPU board in blue, and then the two memory boards. Um, there's the 68,000 right there, and uh, those are 512 uh, megs of RAM each. <laughs> megs, 512k of RAM, kilobytes, so one meg in the system. Um, looks pretty clean, and the traces look quite clean. Um, try to reinsert and see what happens, but they definitely look pretty clean. After a little tweeting, I found out that there are two safety interlock switches. There is one I defeated with cardboard, and another. These prevent the uh, system from powering on with the cases removed. So I'm thinking this will power up this time around. Let's see. There we go. drive is getting ready to spin up, and there is the vertical hold issue, the big five and a quarter inch half height drive, so I blew some air through the, the V-hole pot, let's see what happens if I turn that around a little bit, of course I'm using a plastic tool. There we go. Uh, problem solved. Still loading. There we go. All right. 
I might fiddle a bit more fine tuning, but uh, glad to see this helped out. There's the final setup. Got the vertical hole fixed and my retro battle stations entry is all set. Steve approves. <laughs>